All right, so what we want to do now is we want to bring in the to do's from MongoDB through our back end API and into our client side Angular application. So what we're going to do to do accomplish this is we need to create an Angular service. So in the app folder, we're going to create a new folder called services and let's create a new file in there and we'll call this to do dot service dot TS. All right, so this is going to be uh, a pretty small file. We're going to import our injectable package. And that's going to be from Angular's core. And we need our HTTP module. That's going to be from Angular slash HTTP. And we want the um, map operator from reactive extensions. RxJS slash add slash operator slash map. All right, and let's add the injectable decorator and then create our class. We'll call it to do service. Okay, we'll have our constructor. This is where we want to inject the HTTP module. So let's say pri whoop, private underscore HTTP, set that to HTTP. All right, and then we're going to create a function called get to do's. And we're going to say return this dot underscore HTTP dot get and then we're going to pass in the URL which is slash API slash V1 slash to do's. All right, we're going to use uh, an observable. So we're going to use the map operator and we'll say res to res dot JSON. All right, let's save that. Now let's go to first to our main app component and we're going to import the service and then add it as a provider. So that's going to be in the services folder and then to do dot service. And then down here we're just going to say providers to do service. All right, and then in the to do component TS file, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to have to go dot dot slash out one and then into services. All right, now in order to use this, we're going to inject it into the constructor. So let's create that. We're going to say private underscore to do service. Set that to to do service. Now we're going to set a property here of to do's and we're going to set it to the type to do. All right, now we're going to create uh, we'll create a file in the app folder. Uh, we'll create a file called to do.ts and inside there we're just going to export a class called to do and it's going to have a text which will be a string and it'll have is completed which will be a boolean all right so if we save that and then we're going to import that into the component 
So import to do from uh, dot dot slash to do. All right, and then we're gonna also we're gonna use on init. We want to use that lifecycle method. So up here we're gonna put a comma on init, and then after the class name we want to say implements on init. Oh, that should be a space, and we want to have a, a function down here called ng on init. All right, it, I mean you could do this stuff the service functions in the constructor, but it's better practice to do it in the on init. So let's say this dot to do's and we'll set that to an empty array and then we'll say this dot underscore underscore to do service dot get to do's and we want to first use dot map actually not no, we don't need to use map because I think we did that. Yeah, we did that in the service. So here we're just going to subscribe. All right, we'll say dot subscribe. And let's say to do's. Set it to a code block and then we'll just console dot log to do's. All right, so let's try all that. we go and reload let's see what we're getting okay so we're getting no provider for HTTP so we need to go into our app module file and just import the HTTP module all right and that's going to be from angular slash HTTP and we also just need to add it down here in our imports like that Okay, so that should make that error go away. And now we have our object coming in and we have our to-dos. So now that we have access to those, we should be able to add them to our view. So instead of doing a console log, we're just going to set this dot to-dos equal to that to-dos. All right, so I'll save that and then we'll go into our HTML. And we're going to go to where this first column is right here. And we're going to just wrap uh, an ng4 around it down to here. All right, so let's say div ng4. And then that's going to end down here. So we can tab this over. So we're going to say ng4 equals let to do of to do's all right and then let's put the text here like that and we'll save it and there we go so we're now bringing the text in from the database now if we were to go to our MLAB interface and add a document that should show up Okay, so let's say text, we'll say walk the dog and set is completed to false. Okay, so we'll add that, go back and reload, and there it is. Okay, so we can now display to-dos. In the next video, we're going to work on being able to save to-dos, to add them through the form and add them to the database.